Welcome. This is going to be a quick build guide for Aegis Elementals. So if we look at what our stats are, this is a mid to early game build. We have 20 in engineering and 20 in alchemy. Alchemy is going to get us the ability to scale our S tier weapons for the damage. And then engineering is going to add the affliction multiplier and that loot multiplier to make sure that we have enough essence to be able to sustain. We look, we're using the fire batons and the ice musket. I have this fully upgraded to level 5. The musket's still at 4. I really only use the musket on boss fights to freeze the boss and then mow them down with the other thing. The great thing about the fire batons is the L2 special attack shoots off two projectiles and then infuses them with fire. So you get to do damage and infuse with fire. So it really makes chewing through enemies really quick. Then on bosses, you want to freeze them and then set them on fire when they're in the, the frozen state. If we look at the modules that are really helping us, we have this level 3 long infusion. What this allows us to do is our the uh, alchemical infusions last longer. So we're getting like almost 70 seconds on some of these. And then the other one is this lasting affliction. I'm assuming there's going to be a grade 2 at some point, uh, but anything that just makes the the afflictions last longer on the enemy is going to be phenomenal. And then we're doing a pinch of uh, health from longevity and then frost catalyst to do more frost damage. Uh, I'm probably going to actually set this if we have a fire one to fire, seeing that that's what our main stat's going to be. I don't know if, they're, if we have one or not yet, though. Uh, when you do find one, that's what you'd want to switch it to. Because our frost is kind of the secondary damage. Other than that, uh, we don't really need any... I did put early on a, a point into Vigor. There's no need. Get your Vigor off of the gear you put on. Uh, and then the next thing that we're going to probably be moving into is Power. Because that's what the... the Hephaestus? I, I don't know if I'm saying that correct. That's what those batons will we'll scale off of next. So we'll do power and then we'll go into agility and then see where we're, where we're left and then we'll probably just put a little bit into vigor durability I haven't had any issues uh, so we're just going to show off killing just some easy enemies and then we'll do a hard one so what I usually do is just target and you shoot off and you can see a ton of damage and they're all automatically basically caught right on fire and what's nice with having the max alchemy too is you have a lot of armor so the two hits that's on fire and you could just run away at this point and it would just die. It would just die to the fire damage. And you could see how long down in the bottom there. You can see how long that's lasting. So all that was was it used two pellets and we're getting almost we're getting like 70 seconds with with our weapon infused. And then over here there's gonna be two small guys and uh and the big guy. Two big guys. So we'll take care of the small guy first. Trying to get this guy to take care of. Because he can be kind of annoying. Okay, now we can focus on him. You can see just with those three hits, he's already infused. And we have a ton of time left on the baton still. I like doing that three hit combo, it does a lot of damage. See, so yeah, you're just doing damage over time. And then I'll show off what, what this does. So if we want to freeze this, we can come in and do a charged R2. So he's down. Set the fire on. 
do a big charge up attack. And that's it. So those big enemies just drop really quick. I know I've been a little sloppy on the dodging, but I just kind of want to just show off the damage and the potential of this. So you can either freeze them and then set them on fire, or I've just been just doing the fire and then saving the alchemies for the capsules for when we are doing uh, boss fights to freeze them. But yeah, that's pretty much the build. And then I also run uh, usually improved frost grenade and an improved flame grenade. I'm out of, out of flame grenades. So on boss fights, you can just get the elements on really quick and just mow them down. This is quite powerful and it's made leveling and playing the game very easy up until this point. So thanks for watching. If you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.